We've all seen these things that are either mounted on the trunk or somewhere like the roof of police cars. These seemingly odd looking pieces of equipment that sort of remember something from a science fiction movie. Now, what are they you ask? Well, these things are actually called Automatic Number Plate Recognition, ANPR, or License Plate Recognition, LPR, but most of us just call them plate readers. Now stick around and I'll explain how they work and why these things have actually gained popularity with many police departments with more than 70% of them using those LPRs. Welcome back guys and thanks for sticking around. Now these plate reading systems actually use infrared technology and a camera to take an image of either the front or rear license plate that you have installed on your vehicle. Now how it works is that once the system takes the picture that image is then analyzed by some type of image processing software which actually will extract the image and then process the plate information. Now, how many of you actually get a little nervous when you're driving and you see a police car with those license plate readers on them and you immediately say to yourself, man, I wonder if all my paperwork is in order. Well, I hope you can actually think fast because your typical plate reading system can accurately scan up to 1800 license plates in a minute. Now, these devices are so good that they can actually identify a plate on a car that's traveling in the opposite direction at more than 160 miles per hour. So before you can actually say, oh shit, the police officer actually knows everything that they need to know to pull you over in case something is actually wrong with your vehicle. So now we all know that I personally, I love technology and I really embrace it. But I think most of you are gonna have a problem with one aspect of those plate readers, and that is the who, what, when, where, and why. Now, what I mean by that is that the information that's captured by these systems, including the license plate number, the date, time, and location of every single scan, is actually being collected and archived. Now, that's really not my fight to take on, but just know that if your plate has been scanned, and trust me, somewhere it's been scanned, someone somewhere is gonna be able to pull up your plate information and actually map out your movements to find out where you've been and pretty soon know where you're going. So, comment below and tell me if you have a problem with these systems and if you have a problem with that information being stored. I think it's a problem. Privacy. <laughs> Until next time, guys, remember, no one cares like we do. And I'll see you guys in the next video.